The seeds of every virtue in life are sown during times of adversity. All things of value are at the end of a steep climb. Your aspirations and ambitions are waiting there. Most people merely endure life. They don't steer it. The common problem is that many have ambitions that require appeal efforts, but they are weighed down by downhill habits, and it's impossible to ascend with habits that pull you down. It's easy to be swamped by the feeling of helplessness. It's easy to convince yourself that you can't make a difference. But guess what? You can make a difference. You can change yourself and you can change your immediate world. If you better yourself and your corner of the world, the rest of the world will take no time follow. Good intentions are often overvalued. I've met countless people who declare, I will do that, or that seems like a good idea. Uh, get to that someday. However, good intentions are mere words until they become good actions. Success won't just stumble into your path. It won't just magically happen. It will always be a challenge. I wish I could tell you otherwise. I wish I could tell you that you could amass wealth by doing a couple of things. But that's not the reality. You have to get gritty. You have to get downright tenacious if you want to succeed. Most of you want to achieve success because when you are steady and you grow tired, you surrender. Weakness is a shadow that follows all of us. Times when we could have done more, eat away at our own esteem, self-esteem and self-respect. They undermine you, your belief in your, in your potential. The true art of living a fulfilled life is minimizing moments when you're weak and maximize your ability to stand tall and put in the work. Most of you say, oh, you want success, but you don't desire it intensely. You just somewhat desire it. You don't crave it more than a ninth out of friends. You don't yearn for it more than you wish to appear cool. I'm here to tell you today, if you want to be successful, rise and put in the work. If you want it, get up and make it happen. Sometimes success isn't about how clever you are or how physically strong you are. It's about your resilience. Success isn't a walk in the park. It's a strenuous, uncomfortable endeavor. So you have to get comfortable with discomfort if you ever want to achieve success. Start imposing some pressure on yourself. Get out and get after it. Don't cry about giving up. Cry about keep keeping going. Don't lament about quitting. You are already in pain. You are already hurting. Might as well get a reward from it. Some of you aren't getting closer to your vision. You shared your vision and someone discouraged you, so you backed off. You mentioned your vision and someone tried to crash it, so you backed off. Can you hear what I'm saying? I'm telling you that you must be obsessed with your vision. Do you want to make your dreams a reality? Stay focused. Some people would rather settle scores than progress. Keep your eyes on your destination. I just kept doing what I needed to do. So you must put in the work. When others are having fun, you must have the result to study, to absorb knowledge, to be ready at any moment to sacrifice who you are for who you can become. You have to give it all your goal. No more TV, no more parties, no more games. Your priority should be steady. Whilst others are playing golf, I was steady. While they were playing basketball, I was steady. While they were having fun, eating and joking around in the restaurant, I was immense in my studies. You have to invest your everything into this. Your thoughts, your energy, your effort, and your discipline. Nothing worthwhile will materialize if you don't put something in. It simply won't happen. You have to dedicate your entire existence to this endeavor. You have to breathe it, eat it, and sleep it. Start off your end goal in mind. Whatever your dream or objective is, you have to wake up each day with it and go to bed with it. The books you read, the music you listen to, everything you do should feed that dream. You have to stay fixated on your dream. Don't let anyone distract you from your game plan. When others are having fun, you dig in. When they are relaxing, you work tirelessly. When they are partying, you put in extra hours. And when they are wishing for a better life, you will be the one living it. Go out, don't stop, do what you are supposed to do, believe in you, show up and know that it's possible. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, it's going to be possible to live the life you want to live. Go out and make a difference. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams.